Well, the month of May is Better Hearing and Speech Month, and bet you didn't know this, but Wisconsin is a national leader in screening for and identifying hearing loss in infants. And to tell us more about the importance of hearing screenings is Elizabeth Seeliger, Doctor of Audiology at Wisconsin Department of Health Services. All right, Elizabeth, let's start with this. How can you tell if a very young child has hearing loss? Well, you can't tell by looking, Charlotte. You have to um, actually have a hearing screening or um, actually go and see an audiologist and have a hearing test done. And, and uh, just from my experience, you know, having babies in the hospital, they take them almost right away to do those screenings. That's right. That's mm -hmm. in the last 10 years or so, we've started um, universal newborn hearing screening in the state of Wisconsin, which means that every baby born in the hospital setting is screened at birth. And even hospitals that are now born at home or in mm -hmm. out of hospital settings are also offered hearing screening. And how are those hearing screenings done so for, you know, future parents are like, oh, is it, does it hurt the child yeah. or? No, it's absolutely painless and it's really quick. So we um, attach tiny electrodes like Band-Aids to mm -hmm. the baby's um, head and neck and we put little ear cuffs on their ears and we emit a sound through those ear cuffs and we actually measure how the baby's brain reacts to those sounds. Um, how many children are screened in Wisconsin? Um, well, as of 2012, 99% of all babies born in the state of Wisconsin receive hearing screening. Okay, um, this is some pretty serious business. So <laughs> talk about why this is so important to catch, you know, potential hearing loss at an early, early age. Yeah, um, so before universal newborn hearing screening, um, children were typically diagnosed with hearing loss at about two and a half years of age, and that's when they weren't meeting those critical speech and language milestones. Um, and unfortunately, there are critical windows for learning and development that mm -hmm. infants go through, and when they um, don't have access to sound, um, it can be really hard for them to catch up. So by um, reducing that age of identification to four months of age, which is what we've done now in Wisconsin, um, babies don't have to miss those critical um, learning milestones. They can be on the right foot right at the beginning. Is it something as easy as just calling a, a doctor or a nurse practitioner to say, hey, you know, there might be something going on with my child, not quite sure, or it could yes. be something as simple as I'm trying to call my child's name, but not turning around? Yes, <laughs> um, yep, all of those things, but actually, you know, we screen them at birth, but that doesn't mean that if they pass the newborn hearing screening, they can never develop hearing loss. So if a family has any concerns at all, they should contact their physician immediately and ask for a referral to an audiologist. Okay, as easy as that. All right, Elizabeth Seeliger, thank you very much. You're welcome. All right, well, to learn more about hearing screenings for newborns, go to the links section of channel3000.com.